I remember when you brought your son, Mort Jr., yeah. to my house for me to meet him. Yeah. But what I need from you is the breadth and depth of a father's loss. Oh, well. Uh, and yeah. I ask it completely respectfully, Mort. You don't have to open this to the public. Well, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I got a, two cops at the door at six in the morning who found him and wanted to identify him. And I was going on the air with Don Imus in New, on New York time. And uh, they had this tattoo. He had a girl's name on his arm. But he was my best friend. And ironically enough, he looked upon me as the child. He's going to shelter me from the storm all the time. And uh, he had some bad friends that didn't serve him. And uh, he had a tremendous sense of the moment. I remember Chena cooking the front end of the house and she said, Mort Jr., tell Dad dinner's getting cold. What is he doing? And she, he said, he's watching the Playboy channel, but only for the articles. <laughs> or he'd walk in while I'm watching a, a terrible Western made in 35, and he'd say, they're not making them the way they used to, are they, Dad? <laughs> so he had a sense, and one day he came home. He had been in Tower Records in Westwood with Axl Rose and Slash, and he asked for an autograph. Mort to Mort, he said, is that your dad? He said, yeah. He said, well, he's a genius. And he came home and he treated me with a new awe. <laughs> That's great. That's great. And I think uh, Axel told me he's close to editing Chinese democracy <laughs> into an LP. <laughs> It's really funny. I saw Slash in a, uh, at CBS. He said, I, mean, I really love that kid. I said, well, he sure loved you guys. And uh, his piano is here, you know, upstairs. I did not know that. On the mezzanine. And uh, the Korean piano. So, I, you know, I was my, my best friend. And I think he would have been heard from if he wasn't headed off. Uh, but uh, his mother, you know, she didn't quite know what to do with it. And the last time I really saw her was at the funeral. Uh, so. What were his ambitions? He wrote a lot of songs. He wanted to be in the music business. He had a, a band called Crash Diet, and uh, he wanted to publish the songs. And Al Sargent, the screenwriter, took some of the lyrics home. He showed him some of the lyrics he wrote. And one of the songs he dedicates to his mother. He says, you know, she's a knockout but her arms are too short to reach the phone. A knockout, but yeah, her great arms figure are too short to reach, to reach the, the phone. And that's all in rhyme and cadence and everything. So he had a, a wicked sense of humor. What do you think Mort would be doing, Mort Jr. would be doing right now? Would he be in the music business? Would he be performing? Would he be writing or would? I don't know. Uh, I never think about it in those terms of the end game, but he would now be 39. And uh, he might have, have as much trouble with it as we're having trying to figure it out. But uh, he loved hard and in a solitary way. I don't know if the, the girls are up for it anymore. I mean, he really, you know, his heart was on the line all the time. 
He loved hard and in a solitary kind Monogamous. of way. Yeah. And I don't know if the girls are up for it <laughs> anymore. More, please. Yeah, I don't know if, the, if a lot of them probably, his classmates probably married smart and are unmarried smart financially. Uh, but that part of them grew old. Uh, he was always in love, you know, he was always on the line, you know, this is it. He told me that I had never felt about his mother the way he felt about this girl. You know, it, all the time, you know, no offense, but he really thought he, he had the patent. So uh, it's a cheat. She was a good kid. And uh, uh, I never said I was an expert at parenting, but she faulted me. And uh, she's really mad. You know, I, I sent her to the olive branch several times when I got up here. I said, no strings trip, you can see Marin. Everything doesn't answer. Birthdays, Christmas, doesn't choose to answer. So she turned into somebody else, I guess. 